this is where the right honorable topic lies. In Luo, we call it Simba. As a, as a Luo man, you're supposed to construct a house in your father's compound uh, before you know you set, set up your own home elsewhere. So this is where he started it off. This is where his life began as now a man, a married man in his own home, a house, and then finally he moved to Opoda. If you go to Opoda, the first house that he constructed there is, has a similar structure. Yeah, so um, if you look at it, uh, it's, it's, uh, as much as it's uh, been here over years, but uh, when people say dynasties and people say all those kind of things, it, it, it needs someone to come and look at the story behind him because he had his house, but unfortunately he didn't spend so much time here because of the sacrifices he had for this country. Most of the time he spent behind the bars in prison. So, um, um, but we thank God for the sacrifices he made because it changed the political as the status of this country. If you look at the democratic, democratic space, he picked up, he picked the mantle from where Jaramundi left and pushed it where he, he, it is right now. So um, as much as it took a lot of his personal life, his social life, most of it, but it helped shape the future of this country. So this is where it all began before he moved to Oda to set up his home. And uh, that is now where he stays uh, with his family. Jaramogi had a farm in Opoda. And uh, the boys start off here, then move to Opoda to set up their homes. So in Opoda, we have um, Right Honorable, Raila Mumedinga, and Dr. Wu. They set up their homes in Opoda. Um, I have a younger brother outside, the other side. Um, the others also will construct their own homes uh, once the time comes. So the, this is the larger extended family of, of Jaramogi. So, but this used to bring a lot of warmth in the home because now um, when, 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 when food is prepared and you have that, you're spoiled for choice. You can eat in your mother's house or run to your brother's house. Maybe they, they, they did some kakuku or some meat and sample here and there. It also created that room for more space for sleeping. Yeah. So maybe if there are more visitors in the home, they could be accommodated in. in, uh, in. My name is Olina Binga. Um, I may say that uh, growing up in this home, uh, it's politicized. We don't know any other life in this compound other than political life. When Jeremoni was alive, um, we used to host events every Christmas day. And that taught us how to share. So he would, he would slaughter bulls and uh, have a feast in this room where the gates are open. And as, uh, I think when you come, when you came, you just has, we have, we have security yes. Sure. But before then, people used to come in and get out as they wish. And that was what Jaramogi wanted. So every Christmas day routine, all the family members were supposed to come back home and we celebrate with our neighbors, family, friends, anybody who passes by on Christmas day. That tradition, has been carried forward by um, Raila Mamodinga and uh, Dr. Muro Dinga. So they make sure that every Christmas day we do the same in this compound. So where he's buried here, right here is where we used to host the event. There's a corner right there where they used to sit with the elders and uh, a few friends. Then we would have traditional uh, drink, what we call bosa being served here, and he would, he would bring traditional dancers, um, people like Dio Missy, and he would sing here, and uh, some guitarists and all those, people, those kind of people. People would just dance and marry the whole night up to 26. Rayla is a disciplinarian, and he's someone who's persistent. So he picked the mantle after the death of Jaramon Winko Dinga, his father, and he never disappointed. Their politics are a bit different, but he made sure that the dreams that Jaramogi had have been realized. His patience, hard work, and consistency has seen him be who he is today. He's someone who never 
good sir. And that's one thing I've learned from him. When, whenever he falls down, he picks himself up, uh, takes some few steps backwards, does a self-reflection to look at where the problems were, strategies, re-strategies, persistently, consistently, until he gets things right. Personally, I picked that from him. And I never look at things from the, down, from the downside. Whenever something doesn't work for me, I always say, I can do it. And I use strategies, I pick up myself and move on. It's that fighting spirit that can enable somebody to achieve. He's someone who lives a simple life.